I have a question for you. How do you react when your child makes mistakes when speaking? Do you ignore them or are you the type of parent that repeats everything correctly and doesn't let any mistakes lie? If your child is speaking unclearly, it's probably a good idea to pay a speech therapist a short visit. They will give you plenty of exercises that will definitely help. In this video, we'll be focusing on how to help children speak well, meaning correctly. We'll be discussing how to help them express themselves accurately and with proper grammar. Stick around until the end of the video to get a free amazing infographic that you can hang on your fridge to remember key points in supporting the language development of your children and the language journey of your multilingual family. Multilingual children often make mistakes. They, they use words that don't match, create funny sentence structures, um, overgeneralize, rules, code mix, code switch, mostly unconsciously. And you know what? That's good because it's how it's supposed to be. I do that all the time as well. <laughs> no, yeah. no matter if the neighbor rolls the eyes or the mother-in-law looks at you or your child with critical eyes, our children are allowed to make mistakes. The sooner they learn how to deal with them and have a good relationship with them and accept them, the better. Because they are going to be faithful companions for life. Hi, I'm Andrea and if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and my mailing list for more support on how to raise successful multilingual children. Now, how can we help our children speak well in each language? Here's what I do with my multilingual students and my own trilingual or quadrilingual children. First, I pay attention to what they are trying to say more than how they are saying it. This is important because children and, and adults have a natural need to convey a message and be understood. If we simply concentrate on the correctness, we lose the connection to them because we are no longer concentrating on the content. The greatest goal of speaking, and we cannot forget this, is being able to communicate. Communication goes in the first place. For example, if my toddler comes running and tells me that he fell and scratched his knee, saying something like, let's pretend he speaks English to me, mommy, I caí and I scratched my leg. It would be inappropriate to tell him, no, that's not how it's said. You have to say, I fell and I scratched my knee. First of all, it's better to avoid the word no, as it is a strong word. And we don't want children to misinterpret it. They could easily understand that I meant no to coming to me when something bad happens. We don't want them to think that. Secondly, what my son needs in that moment is acknowledgement of what just happened and empathy. Correcting in this situation is not unimportant, but definitely secondary. A smooth way of correcting my son in that situation would be to say something like, oh, poor baby, you fell and you scratched your knee. Let, let me see that knee. Did you hurt your whole leg or only your knee? And then the child would probably start explaining. But by repeating the sentence correctly, I'm acknowledging what he said and letting him know that I understood what he meant. That is important to motivate children to keep talking. Even if it's not completely correct, he is being successful in conveying a message and that should be rewarded with attention. Next, I am raising my child's awareness about the difference between the whole leg and only a part of it, which is the knee. I am asking him to be more specific, thereby working on his vocabulary. I do this in a very soft way without pausing the conversation, without ridiculing him for not saying it correctly and without using the word no, nor accepting incorrect language use. Please feel free to rewind and watch the correcting part again if you need it and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I believe that using this technique and making it a habit in your home will create an atmosphere of language support which will help your monolingual, bilingual or multilingual child or children to gain strong roots and speed up the language learning process. When we hear the same mistakes repeatedly, it's usually a warning sign 
that the child has internalized a mistake that is becoming solidified. In this case, it's necessary to practice the word or sentence in different situations repeatedly. The child should also repeat the correct way of saying it in addition to hearing it until a new connection is created in, in the brain. So let me break down and summarize the most important points when it comes to correcting our children's language errors. Model correct language. Instead of pointing out the mistakes, you can model the correct language by repeating what the child said, but with the correct grammar and or pronunciation. I usually repeat the word or phrase many times, but as naturally as possible. The child doesn't even realize that I'm correcting them, but is listening to the correct use of language various times, and that helps. Use positive reinforcement. When a child uses correct language, offer praise and positive feedback right away. This will motivate them to continue using correct language. And that's what you want, a positive spiral. Correct gently. If a child makes a mistake, correct them gently and in a non-judgmental way. This can help the child feel more comfortable and, and confident in using the correct language. Avoid using the word no because this might freeze their use of language. And we are actually looking for the opposite. Focus on the message. It's important to remember that the content of the message is more important than the grammar or the pronunciation. Encourage the child to express their ideas and their thoughts even if they make mistakes. Try to see beyond the correctness of language. It's important to do our best to understand what the child wants to say. So we need to actually train our ears and listen very closely. So if your child says something mixing all three languages and the grammar is a disaster and you can barely understand all the words, try to ask yourself, what is it that my child wants to tell me? Then you can react by saying something like, Ah, I get it. You mean da 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 da, and then rephrase the content and repeat it correctly. You model the correct use of language, and your children learn. That means correcting language errors in children should be done in a supportive and positive manner to encourage their language development and help them communicate effectively. And before I forget, don't forget to subscribe to my mailing list, everything is down below, to get your free infographic with the key points on how to help your child speak well. If you're already subscribed, check out your inbox. I hope this was helpful. Please hit that like button and share this channel with your other multilingual friends. Also, if you haven't watched this video, I think it could interest you. Keep on doing a fantastic job and I'll talk to you soon.